Biggity, 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 bo. Hi, welcome to my orange five pike check. <laughs> the rat hacking machine. First, we have the orange five frame. This is a aluminium frame, 145 millimeters of travel. It has a 447 reach and a 433 chainstay. So very balanced and the size medium fits me really well for throwing about in the ruts at home. Next, the handlebar in the cockpit. We've got the uh, one up handlebar, 35 mil rise and seven, cut down to 750 in width. That's matched with a 50 mil stem and around plenty of back sweep on the bars. Nice and comfy. Grips, we've got the gusset single file grips, which are a 30 millimeter diameter. So they're uh, pretty slim grips, but I like a nice, nice thin grip. It's a good feel. On top of the stem, I've got this little Garmin mount, which uh, I just found on Amazon. It uh, keeps the Garmin nice and in the center. Makes a nice clean cockpit. Inside the steerer tube, I've got a crafty little tool from one up as well. The EDC multi-tool, tire lever, all the Allen keys. Inside there, I've got tire repair kit. And that just slots very neatly inside your steerer tube. Forget it's there. Remember, just when you need it. Brakes, I've got the Hope V4 brakes, which is their more powerful downhill brake. And I've matched that in with quite a small 180 disc. Uh, I use the V4 brakes on my bigger bikes, so I just wanted to keep that the same. And having smaller discs is more than enough for this bike. Also, quite a sneaky little uh, bonus to this is you've got powerful brakes but small discs so they will heat up a bit quicker which burns water off and then they start working when it's raining so actually works quite well having chunky brakes on small discs in uh, sloppy conditions brake position I've got the brakes pretty flat not fully flat but pretty flat uh, and I've got them coming in really close to the bar I like braking with the inside of my finger not the end so uh, nice and close suits that I like the front really close because I just don't like it grabbing at all. I don't like a grabby front brake. And I've done that by just filing down the rocker plate there on the hope. So the back one's perfect for me, fully wound in. The uh, front one's not quite close enough. So uh, it's, it's a 10 minute job and that just gets it hitting the sweet spot. Dropper post. I've got a 150 one up dropper post. Uh, that's enough for my wee legs. Uh, matched in with a integrated mount on the uh, thumb pedal. Beautiful. And on top of that, I got the Gusset S2 SM saddle. And as you might be able to see, it's one of the smallest seats you've ever witnessed. And I just love it. I don't like a big chunky seat on the bike. It, for those who like stats, it's 133 millimeters wide. So you're not like, adjusting yourself on it you're just always in the sweet spot you can ride the downhills much better and you're not wallowing about on a big sofa you just don't need it so excellent saddle hope c collar matching silver nice for the headset i've got a minus one degree cup in at the moment i've been building lots of vicious steep rut tracks and it feels quite nice raked out there out to 64 from 65 but when i start riding trails more i might Go straight pipe. Feels good just now though. Front suspension, I've got a Formula Silver R fork. This is an air fork with a double air chamber. So you've got a positive and a negative. Positive I run, depending on conditions and all that, about 70 and about 95 in the negative. Uh, and then the CTS, which is the adjustable uh, shim stack, I've got the, the lightest one in there. So it's pretty active for me. And that's a 160 millimeter travel fork. Uh, mud guard, I've got the Mucky Nuts Mug Guard. Uh, extra long, big piece. Just leave that on because it's in inevitably going to rain at some point. Keeps the muck out of the eyes. The rear shock is something a little bit special. Come in for a closer look. This is uh, something, as you can probably tell by the colour, new from Formula. Details to be announced. So it's a little prototype on my bike here. Been uh, looking into this with Formula, was out in Italy with them, very exciting. Got a 400 pound spring, LBs, uh, and that's all, you're, all you can know. Details will follow shortly, running beautifully. The crank set, I've got a Hope crank set here. 
165 length, which is the shortest one they do. Uh, sometimes reserved for downhill bikes, but for me, 165 is an excellent length. You don't lose any power having a shorter crank, uh, but you can pedal on a, a variant of terrain, so really nice. Love that. Uh, crank Brothers Mallet E uh, in the long spindles, bit of width on that. Uh, 34 tooth chainring and a one up bash guard to uh, protect from the inevitable knocks. That's downstairs. I've got the Shimano XT 12 speed, 10 to 51, revolutionary, one chainring, all the gears at the back, uh, and that's more than enough of a gear range for me, blasting about on all that. Perfect. Got the clutch on the mech, whap that on. Wheels, I've got the Hope Tech Enduro wheel set, 27.5 inch front and rear for this bike. And on top of them, I've got the Schwalbe tires. I've got the Magic Mary front, uh, Snakeskin Addict Soft, and then the front tire run about 19 psi. Rear tire, got the Hans Damp Addict Soft again, and that's in uh, about 24, 25 psi. And that's it, hooking up. Thanks for watching my Orange 5 bike check. Any questions? Let me know and subscribe to keep up to date with all the videos. See you on the trails. Bye.